G'day, I'm just going to do a little video on machining some acetyl. Um, acetyl is lovely to machine, but it also has its own difficulties. It can form continuous ribbons of material very easily that wrap around the part and can give big tangle ups and uh, can be quite dangerous and can cause uh, your tool to break or your part to come out of your chuck. So um, there's a few tricks to it and uh, a few horrible things can go wrong if, if you ignore those tricks. Okay, let's go through the stages of machining acetyl. I'm machining two parts out of one length of stock. Um, I won't go into the product details because I want to respect client confidentiality, but putting the part, part into the chuck and up to the stop inside the chuck, tightening it up with the marked scroll key so that I get consistent concentricity, tighten it up quite tight because it's quite a flexible material, um, plastic, and um, I don't want it coming loose. Okay, we'll just go through it step by step now. So there will be a few dead steps. This is a, a pass in air in case the stock is longer. One more pass in air. Finishing cut for Z0. Slowing down for the OD. Finishing cut on the outside to match the outside turn from the other end. Turning the end portion because that way I can retain the strength in this portion, keeping the whole part rigid. If I machine the small diameter the full length, then it will become too flexible. So initially, I'm just turning the end. Stage. It's really important to have chip breaking on the tool so that it doesn't all tangle up um, and that's just a nightmare when it starts wrapping around the part. Increase the revs for a small diameter. Rigidity is not so important. Now if we had come to that diameter and we were finished turning the whole way, you can see there'd be less stiffness in the part because it wouldn't be supported by this larger diameter. G54, the code then changes to G55. And G55 is the center line of that board, G56 that one, G57 that one. Center drill. Case the G50, G57. And we 
return to a position where I can set up the next part. So now we have both ends machined and um, they can be cut in half. The acetal can slowly lose its stresses now, internal stresses in the uh, extruded rod, um, shift to its relaxed place and then be finished turned say in a few days time or, or tomorrow.